Hey guys, so we have a lot of people interested in trying the new Balance app. We have a lot of new members that have recently joined the Balance app. And I know there are some members out there that have been with me for a while that maybe have fallen out of their balance routine and could use to rev their engines back into the workout routine. So today I've got three different tips for you guys, whether you are starting the balance journey or possibly restarting your balance journey. So three tips to help you really execute and get started with the workout program again so that you can be consistent and you can stick with it for the long term. Okay, so first tip, you don't have to do all five every single week, especially if you're just starting out, okay? So I have a lot of people who sign up and they do their free consultation with me, we meet, and they're like already feeling overwhelmed, like I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get all five done, or day four just looks like way too hard for me. You don't have to start with all five the first week that you kick off your balance journey, okay? I usually recommend to people that you start with two or three workouts workouts specifically more of the strength training workout. So anything that's like high intensity interval training, a lot of jumping, burpees, all the things, I'm counting on you to get to those workouts and work your way up someday, but you don't have to start with those. So start with the upper body workouts or the core workouts. Schedule two or three of them or pick two or three of them. And on the other days, try to just go for a little walk, okay? Do this for the first three or four weeks as you're getting into the routine and as you start to feel more comfortable, you might be itching to try a fourth workout one week, okay? So don't overwhelm yourself. You don't have to start with all five at once. Pick a couple, two or three that look good to you, start with those and then go from there. Just one little side note, make sure that you still do the workouts in order. So I'm putting them one through five in a specific order to get the bang for your buck, to let certain muscles relax um, and rest and recover, okay? So don't bounce around. Don't do like one, then five, then two, okay? If you're gonna pick three, let's say it's day one, three, five, do them in that order, one, three, five. Okay, so that is tip number one. Tip number two for getting started or restarted, um, one of the biggest reasons that I think that working out at home that people are unsuccessful is because they don't create a designated space for themselves and they get distracted, okay? So it does not by any means have to be like a full like garage gym with mats and dumbbell racks and all the things. It does not need to be that, okay? If it is a tiny corner, um, in your um, office <laughs> that you can just like check over like try to put your work stuff aside and like okay I'm in my workout space now if it's a tiny little like a closet okay if you have a walk-in closet that doesn't have a lot of stuff in it and you want to make a, a little section there that's like your workout space do it okay i like to tell people to get yourself like a little tiny whiteboard that you can put a motivational quote for that day um get yourself a mat that's comfortable for you that feels good um have a chair somewhere nearby have your dumbbells set up and lined up so like when you're in your workout space you're you're concentrating on that one task and only that thing and you're not distracted by other things a lot of people who try to you know work out in the middle of the living room floor they they see the basket of laundry that they need to fold and their two kids are jumping on top of them and don't get me wrong we can't always stop that but try to set yourself up with a little space that motivates you makes you feel comfortable gets you excited about your workout all right and the last tip is to schedule your workouts okay so every week 5 p.m. on Sunday. You get the notification from the app, the new workouts are live, okay? As soon as you see that and you have a minute on your Sunday evening, what I want you guys to do is just like you would with any other appointment or any other thing like that you had to get done for work or for PTA meeting or for the kids, whatever it might be, you find time, you schedule it in and you do it, okay? Do the same from your, for your workouts. If you're starting with just three workouts, Take those three that look exciting. Oh, okay, Tuesday at 
10 o'clock. Both kids are gonna be at summer camp. Husband, hu hubby will be at work um, 10 to 10.30. That's what I'm gonna do, legendary lower body, <laughs> whatever it might be, okay? And plug it into your calendar and set some boundaries with yourself that you stick to it. So if it's 10 o'clock on Tuesday and the workout's on your calendar, you're supposed to do that workout. You're doing nothing else other than that workout. Even if you wanna watch Netflix, even if you wanna go do a little laundry, even if you'd rather go get your nails done, like, nope, I scheduled this meeting with myself to do this workout at this time, so that is what I'm doing. All right, so that is my advice. Start slow, you don't have to do all five all at once. Pick two or three until you get your engines revved up and going, okay? Number two, set up your designated space, something that motivates you, makes you feel good, um, that you look forward to like heading to your space and it being your time for yourself. And number three, schedule all those workouts, plug them into the calendar, okay? Choose exactly what day, what time, and then set some boundaries with yourself and stick to it. All right, guys, everybody have a good week. Shoot me a message if you have any questions. Bye.